Hello everyone, I'm Great Luke, thank you for joining me, and welcome back to episode 328 of Factory with the Sea Blood mod. Where we are just going to finish our glass and fiberglass board production, hopefully, and then go on to work on uh, blue circuits. That's the plan at least, let's see how far we get. We need to get some resources in here first. So first of all we need liquid resin. You go to liquid resin. Full glass empty. Go. Do you have enough fuel? Yes, 400. Glass silicon powder. It's just no, no mind. Glass a lime, and then we just have fiberglass boards and glass. They are called fiberglass boards, right? Yes, fiberglass boards. That should be everything. Obviously, we need to get the trains going. And those are off. Silicon. Powder. Full. Glass silicon powder. Empty. Go. Fine. Oh. And back here. Empty. Go. Good. So we need four belts into all. Oh, almost all of this. I put all of my belts in here. This is quite a wide setup, but that's just how it is. I can live with it, I guess. That's all of the silicon done. And we just need half blue belts in here. Yes, that should just be red all the way. Put the other half in over here. And yes, this could just be red as well all the way. I want that to be identical to the other area. And then a lot of blue belts. Do we have anything here? Doesn't look like it. Dang it. Yeah. 
you go fill up case. Apparently we don't have a lot of liquid prison. So that's something we need to work on. That should just go there, right? Yes. And then again, this just needs to be a red belt, really. We have glass, great. Why is this off now? Because I'm bad. glass up here without artifacts please that's actually supposed to be different but I don't care really should always add more space in between these so we don't need a blue underground to get under all of that which isn't even the possibility here just saying but it's fine and we still need that liquid resin could just start with this to see everything run and then we're gonna go work on the resin afterwards. Barrel of liquid resin. Actually we need barreling stuff. I forgot about that. So now the robots have a longer way to run with that. Just gonna steal this. Get in here and get a barrel train and send it. get this in the blueprint uh, 
and we'll catch that train. Good. Weird, this interface actually works while it autosaves. I think that's a rarity in all the things in here. But I might be wrong about that. Mm. We need iron. Or steel. Or plastic. Something like that. We will have to wait for that, I guess. We got a little bit of <coughs> liquid resin here. We will send this other train away again, so we are prioritized. We are done with all of the other inputs, right? Yes. I think we should just go and look into our lack of liquid resin then. So let's do that. Maybe we should just go home first though. I feel like we're carrying a lot of stuff, but we're very rarely using this, so maybe we should get rid of that. also very rare that we actually use these because they don't scale well with beacons and stuff oh well i need more blue build as well and i guess blue underground I don't need more of it, but I need it to be requested. Are we waiting for anything? No. I also want a stack of lotus. We are waiting for those. I would guess they're coming from down here. And they are coming. Okay. No? Did you change your mind? Did I leave the network? <laughs> Probably. Let's just stay here for a couple of seconds. Meanwhile, we can have a look at our liquid resin production somewhere. It's here. We have plenty of melamine. We need more formaldehyde. Formaldehyde needs more methanol. I think this is. Methanol needs more hydrogen. Of all things. <laughs> I think we had a lot of lack of oxygen as well, right? At some point, maybe not anymore, no. Because we could split some normal water and get hydrogen and oxygen and then get rid of the slag. Is that worth doing? Isn't that one of the best ways to get hydrogen or is salt water better? And we also get chlorine if we don't need the 
oxygen, I guess. Hmm. Do we have our loaders? Yes. Let's get going. Then. I'm sure we're gonna lag some stuff up here, but whatever. So let's first just take that I wasn't wrong about what we needed here. Methanol, hydrogen. Where are we bottling up hydrogen? From purified water we can get hydrogen. So this should just be scaled, I guess. And we should be able to handle extra oxygen. Oh, we are supposed to be able to do that here. But that doesn't connect to everything. You don't get enough purified water. So maybe we need to scale this as well. And I mean, by scaling, you can just do this. And then consider doing this as well. We went down to the small area with that. Okay, give me small water area, please. Yeah, I guess we don't really have any of these with us, and we probably didn't leave any. This is just a better way to power all of this. seem to be lacking steam. We are only hitting that with one side of these, but that's fine, I guess. Can we make higher tier steam boilers things? Nope. Not right now, at least. Is this just not the most efficient way to make purified water? Maybe it isn't. We won't be able to see this for, since we have the whole network here. It's only of those two. Let's just have a look at purified water for a bit. So we need it for methanol, right?
No, we don't. We need it for hydrogen. Cool. We're just gonna start here. So the best way to make hydrogen is really what we want. But purified water we need a lot of anyway, so... Maybe. This is currently how we're getting our hydrogen. And that's how we get our purified water. And that's how we get our steam. And we need a lot of these. But we do have some speed up of that still. Without beacons. I just want to see the numbers, I guess. It's actually these that we need the most of. Or that. Well, we still need a lot of these, but still. They are larger. Mm. So, what are some alternative ways to do this? From water, I guess. From electrolyzer. I have an electrode water thing. Purified water is what we're doing, but we could look into the purified water production things. This. And that's it. Okay. So purified water can also just be made in hydro plants. And that's about it, I think. Yeah, okay. So let's look at purified water first, just because I'm curious. If we need to make the 1667, let's just call it 1700. We need 12 of those, and then we need to clarify some of this. And that's opposed to 17 of those and 28 of those, which we're doing one to one, so 28 of each. This is a lot better. Why didn't we just do more of this? At least for purified water. Maybe because it's a bigger setup. Vertically, I mean. But this is what we really should be doing for purified water. It's what we should be doing with all of this purified water instead of getting it in these plants or these clarifiers and we should probably just do that right now so here we're actually trying to make saline water for all of this which of course would give us more hydrogen as well if we just do both i think i'm just gonna redo these two things here hopefully we have the space for that And I'm going to do it in the most stupid way possible, by removing everything. So now we're going to make this first. What did we do with... Oh, okay, we're doing that. I 
I can figure that out again. We are gonna bring the saline water by barrel, though, I think, because we have large amounts, right? Eh. No, we don't. Okay, I'm just gonna go in here. Because I'm not as worried about making stuff in here, I guess. That's not what we want. I want the highest yield possible. You make this. You get some water in from an offshore pump, so we do need that area reserved for that. If we do this by machine... Uh, And we speed this up a lot. We get a lot of purified water and we basically need a barreling pump for each of these. Though if that barreling pump is beaconed up, then we could do one for every two of those, I guess. Something like that. It's really the chest with barrels that's a limitation in that case. This is not a lot though. But we're still gonna barrel it up. Yes. Actually, I want to just shift those two and swap them. Since this would be best if that was the shortest pipe. So, bottle of some purified water here. Purified water. I've got to mark this, mark this instead, I think. Could just do a... A storage tank or something, but I guess this is fine. Okay. And... Since we don't need a lot of saline water barreling, we could just do that between four of them or more. Actually, we could do a lot more. Something like that with one saline barreling thing. That's not too bad, in my opinion. Yeah, that doesn't cover everything. We need that, basically. And that. And that. And that. And that. That makes us a ton of purified water and some saline water as well. We should be able to handle both extra purified water and extra saline water, right? So maybe this becomes even bigger. Oh, 
would be nice if we could save just a little bit of space. That's difficult with the setup. We do have the space for two of those, but we don't have the space to then get the fluids in. I'm spending a lot more time on this than I wanted to. I guess I'll just have to live with not being able to do this, unless we just extend one tile further or something. Put this up here instead. Then how would we still get it in? I don't know. I don't think they'll do that. So what is the most likely scenario for us to need to clarify something? Is it this to get more saline water for chlorine? Or is it the saline water to get more purified water for everything else? I don't know. We're going to be okay with just two purifiers in this old setup? Probably not. And they should definitely be overflow valves. So these two could maybe be purified water, since again we are producing a lot more purified water than saline water. And then we could just have saline water clarifying next to the barreling pump for it. We could also have one of these next to all of the barreling pumps for the purified water, I guess. If we like that more. There's no way we are gonna be able. This is one machine, but with four beacons affecting it. That's a lot of purified water. But is that really a problem? I just gonna rethink it a little bit. I think I would like to have a clarifier for each barreling. Still just one saline water barreling pump in here. And a clarifier for it. And then this whole thing again. It's quite a wide setup, but that's just how it is. Those are already done, this is not. Saline water fill. I think that's the best I can do. I'm gonna leave that. Then we had our chlorine and stuff production.
Oh, this is bad. We could try and do this over again, but we could also just unbarrel some stuff here since we're not getting a lot of stuff into these pipes anymore. At least I don't think we are. Maybe we are. But I'm not going to. Okay. So this. You'd buy factory. One factory. With beacons. Can take a lot of saline water. Don't produce a lot of stuff. Okay. This needs to be clarified. Oh, okay. liquefied and then clarified. And that probably takes purified water. No way. No, it doesn't. Yes, it does. Does that make this worth worse in any way? Input 152. I'm just gonna put in here and see. Okay. So that takes 15 of the purified water out of this, but that's fine. No problem. If we had 300, would this be different? No, 600. We would need two of those to one of these. Shouldn't we just directly insert that then? 900, two to one still. Yes, we should. In that. So we have Electrolyzers. Have a liquefier. And a clarifier. Something like that. And then we need a barreling pump for each thing here, right? Should we put that in the middle next to this, maybe? We also need to unbarrel this stuff, which is what we need the most of. But one should still be enough for two of those, right? A sped up barreling pump can handle that. Can already do 500 without speeding. But I mean, why guess when we can check it, I guess. So that's 180 of these. No, it's not. 18. And apply beacons, then there's no problem. So we could just go bigger. And this needs to go down. We want this to be further up so we can more easily get beacons on it. Maybe, maybe not.
we needed to bottle up some stuff in between here or something. Actually, we're not producing that much. We just need one barreling thing for each of these, for everyone doing this. So you are supposed to do unbarreling. You are doing unbarreling. You are supposed to have a provider test. It's not supposed to be a limit. Okay. This is supposed to do barreling. Hydrogen. Chlorine. And then we can scale on that. Something like that, I guess. With recipes, so hydrogen. Bottling. And chlorine bottling. And then we need power. have to be so annoying. Why can't I just put a power bow here? Eh. Also, we needed purified water for this. God dang it. I forgot. Mm, that makes it a little bit taller, but I guess I can live with that. It also makes it wider though. I am gonna remove half of this. And I think the small amounts of purified water. We are just gonna do this and let it be a larger scale thing. Purified water. Please do not reach, no. Okay. And then we can scale on this whole thing if we wanted to. Maybe this needs to be moved up, maybe not. I don't care. Right now, it would be hit by beacons from here, but not up here. But we couldn't reach it from both sides anyway. These will only be affected from the top. That's also okay. If we just take all of this now. We have the space for it, so that's good good we are taking up a little bit more space than earlier but i can live with that good we need some water down here. Oh, also, with that water, this will be even harder to reach. But I can live with it. I'm sure we can figure something out. Otherwise, we'll just do it all over again. Did I not have a water blueprint? Shallow water somewhere. Good there. I mean, we can't do this with uh, groundwater boss, right? 
150 water per second already. 300 water per second. Sped up to much larger speeds. That would work. We could maybe put the water here instead. No. That would save one tile, but I'm not going to do it right now. Let's just get it done. Did I not power everything? I guess not, because I got annoyed by it. Can't get across that with one power pole, unless we move it down there. This just makes everything weird. It's just in the middle, yes. Okay. And then this annoyed me as well. At least in the middle here or something. If that annoys us even more, then that's a bad idea. Oh, screw it. Let's just get it working. And of course, powering these will be even more annoying. Just don't look at the power poles. It doesn't matter. Are we making more purified water now? Let's hope so. Uh, we can't handle the, this stuff now. So I guess I was wrong about not need... No, wait, that's me being bad. Okay. Good thing we get the small problems out of the world right now. faster robots but we need to get the next year of science for that we need a bunch of this luckily we have the space here We need some electrolyzers. Where did I leave the plane? All the way up there. We have more saline water production here. This burns chlorine and hydrogen. We should really have utilized that, but oh well. Give me my plane, give me some electrolyzers. And then hopefully we soon have more liquid resin for glass.
Electrolysis at all. So we're just not making blue uh, circles anymore, I guess. That sounds bad. What are we missing? How does this work? Oh, this that's only something on one side of this belt, I guess. Blue belt. Silver, what's on this? I have copper and silver. What are we missing? Hyperglass ports, maybe? Or something? Yes. Because of melamine. Because of catalysts again. Was blue metal catalysts a temporary setup or something? No, I think we made a bootstrap permanent setup for that. We are requesting stuff. And that stuff is not in the network. Okay. That's stupid. Let's just fix that right away. After we take a couple of electrolyzers. Thank you. And I want to remove the purified water by cooling tower production, but for now, let's at least just complete it. Two of those. Okay. Is that in the network then? Yes. Good. So we should get loose. Catalyst again, if we are. Good. Let's get back to our liquid resin production up here then. Now that we fixed it down there. Are we making stuff? We should probably have been able to burn this as well, but we do have some space for that. Right. This is mainly meant for hydrogen, I feel, so I'm not gonna burn hydrogen, I don't think. Though we could. feel like we should just disconnect these and set a overflow valve what we really should do is measure if we have enough hydrogen and then let it burn but for now this is an easy solution this is being up on that end so we could also disconnect this but what I really want is to actually integrate it somehow
And I mean, it's not really that difficult. It's just not going to be pretty. Something like that. It is one thing, but this part is basically still a module, right? Yep, good. What? Purified water. Should be coming from here. Wrong way around, as always. This really not keep up. What? It's only 90 per second oh, for one machine, but even for five machines, all machines, that should be fine. It is keeping up now. Good. No saline water. So we don't have enough saline water, okay. That's a fine problem to have. We are currently liquefying purified water. Okay. These are not connected, is that a problem? Not really. I'm going to do it anyway. This doesn't really give us anything. We would have to put it in here if we wanted something to come off from it. It's fine. So we have all the purified water in the world now. As in 300 barrels at least. More than 300 barrels, I think. Yes, 600. Good. And now it is this part that lacks hydrogen. No, sorry, saline water. Now we have the purified water that was being used in another setup to make hydrogen, right? Like here. Yes. So now we can scale this up if we want to. I wish this had been part of the build. We could try and redo that as well, I guess. Or we could just take this whole thing and duplicate it. If we think we don't have enough hydrogen at least. Should really have larger limits on these. We actually have extra bottles of hydrogen now, so that's good. So methanol should be good. We're struggling to barrel that up because of bottles. Because of a low robot count, I guess. Yeah, we want faster robots. So now this should just be faster than it was, at least. 
and we should get faster or oh, full trains faster maybe it's not perfect but i'm gonna ignore that right now oops or am i these are running full speed right at least that one is so is that so is that so is this the pipes are full Not sure why I don't want to put in the last one, but I feel like this is just fine. Ammonia urea. Let's do that as well. And this is what we actually need. And yeah, we'll just put it in for some reason. <laughs> oh no, power. We are good on hydrogen. That's great news. Can't fit this anywhere else, right? No. Do we actually need it here, though? I'm afraid so. Otherwise, it won't reach. No, it will. Down here we need it, but we have the space here. At least for now. So I just want to connect those. Because this was full and this wasn't. Okay. Are we still good? Yes. Now, if we want our fiberglass boards to produce at full speed, we do need 1700 per second, which is a lot. And I think amounts like that would be better made at an outpost by itself, so we don't have a thousand robots that have to travel for 10 seconds or more to do all of this stuff. So I regret that a little bit. Can we just search, please? Uh, resin. Fluids. We're actually almost there. So maybe if the robots were just faster, that would be fine. Or if we had a few more robots, I guess. This is a setup, right? Yes. Am I actually out of beacons? I am. Okay. That's fine. Though it means we need to go and grab more, I guess. Where's my plane? down here okay but we've fixed this pretty well i think if we just have those beacons let's just go and grab them and then call this an episode and then i'm just gonna pin liquid resin if i had it maybe i don't I'll just pin this then, just so I can remember in the next episode what we're working on. Because I will be confused about being up at fluid, I think. We needed beacons. Bring beacons. Thank you. Bring more. 
Are we getting more blue circuits again? Yes, good. So crisis averted, I guess. We're good on beacons. Oh, it wasn't 1700, it was 2700. My bad. I wonder if it... Can we actually make liquid resin out of normal resin? From wood? And ethanol. So it will still require some annoying stuff, I guess. Okay, never mind that. We are done here now. And unfortunately, that's all we have time for in this episode. So thank you all for joining me, and I'll see you next time. Bye.